say a few words tonight about one of basketball's best who left us just two weeks ago on February 13th. He was a gentleman who touched the lives of many along the way at Stonehill College, at Oliver Ames High School, and right here at Brockton High School. He did this through coaching basketball as well as his many years as a guidance counselor before his retirement. Though he was highly regarded as a basketball coach to those who had the opportunity to play for him, he taught them more than X's and O's. He also taught them about life. To some he was a coach, to others a mentor, and to still others he was an educator. To all of us he was a friend. Let us stand now and join together in a moment of silence in memory of our friend, Mr. Patrick Brennan. Thank you. Please stay standing for the national anthem. Paul, just tell team when it's coming. Good evening and a welcome to Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School in the City of Champions for this BCA Sports broadcast of the MIAA quarterfinal Division I girls playoff game between your Brockton Lady Boxers and the Mansfield Hornets. My name is Peter Zimbor, drawn alongside my broadcast partner Uzziah Hilliard for tonight's broadcast. Brockton, after a stellar regular season, hosting the 15-6 and six Mansfield Hornets on their home court. Brockton playing their first playoff game of 2014. Mansfield playing their second playoff game of the calendar year as a result of Brockton getting a bye week and Mansfield having to defeat North Quincy to get here. Yesai, I know that you've been a member of the crew for many games throughout the season. This Brockton girls team has uh, done quite well against every bit of opposition they faced here at Staff Gymnasium. Four eight-minute quarters here in MIAA tournament basketball. Ball ends up in the hands of the Mansfield Hornets to begin the game. We'll start, take a look at the starting five for the Mansfield Hornets. Number one, the guard, Alyssa Kelly. Number 22, Caroline Marr. Jennifer Kemp, number 24. Number 32, Jessica Stoyle. And number four, Janet Marr. For the Brockton Lady Boxers, starting five. With the ball right now, number 22, Tatiana Diaz also on the floor is number 30, 
or no, excuse me, number 23 for Lady Boxers, Jelani Jackson, Aliyah Brito, number 24, Catherine Lewis, and Six minutes and 53 seconds to go here in the opening quarter. Brockton and Mansfield still scoreless at Staff Gymnasium. Mansfield down low inside the paint, puts it up and in, drawing the foul. Mansfield heading the line to shoot one. That will be number 22 at the free throw line for Mansfield. Caroline Marr. Makes a three-point play out of it. Three-nothing is your score. Mansfield on top. Tatiana Diaz with the ball for Brockton. Tries to get it over to Aliyah Brito. Aliyah Brito gets it over to number four from the outside. Shoots a three and no good. That being Janacia Silva Moore. Mansfield with the ball. 3-0. Mansfield on top. Six minutes and 22 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Mansfield not intimidated seemingly here in the opening quarter against Brockton, Uriah. Keep coming, Jess. Jess, keep coming. They're not intimidated. They're playing very strong so far. Tatiana Diaz with the takeaway for Brockton. Goes to lay it in, misses, gets her own rebound, dishes it, or looks like she was going to dish it to the outside. Now lays it up and in. Brockton on the board for the first time in this game. 3 2 to score Mansfield on top. 5.55 left to go in the opening quarter. Brockton with a bit of a full court press. Very tight defense being played by the Brockton Lady Boxers. Help her! Caroline, move! Stop the drive! No foul called as number 23, Jelani Jackson, takes it to the hole for Brockton. Ultimately have a whistle. And it appears that Brockton will inbound from the sideline. 3-2 still your score. Mansfield on top. 5.35 left to go. In the first quarter, Jelani Jackson gets it over to Tatiana Diaz to Brito. Leo Brito puts it up. No good. Rebounded by Mansfield. Push, push, push. He's not going to the mic. He's only talked twice. Talk let's go, Jess. Much, right? Let's go. Come on, let's go, 3-2, you score. Mansfield on top. Brockton looking to... Take the lead for the first time in this game. Bit of a slow start for both teams, Uzziah. Two is your score. Mansfield on top. Four minutes and 50 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. Mansfield for three from way outside. No shame. She just launched that one from way downtown. Caroline Marr, 6 2 is your score. That was an NBA three. Yeah, it really was. Brockton trying to respond in kind. Giannisha Silva Moore from the outside hits a three. And Brockton within one, 6 to 5, your score. 4 27 left to go in the opening quarter. From inside the perimeter, that's Mansfield. No good, or rebounded by the Hornets. No good, rebounded by Tatiana Diaz for Brockton. This is win and move on, lose and go home. MIAA Tournament Basketball. Tatiana Diaz from the top of the three tries for three. No good, GNA to Silver Moore with the rebound inside the paint. Brockton with their first lead of the game. Seven to six now with less than four minutes remaining in the first quarter. Good job of GNA to Silver Moore being in the right place at the right time to grab that rebound. Yes. 
the ball, come get it. Finish. Jelani Jackson with the ball for Brockton. Jackson takes it to the hole, puts it up, no good. Three minutes and 31 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. Brockton leads 7-6 over the Mansfield Hornets. MIAA South Sectional Division I quarterfinal action. Brockton's first playoff game of the season as they had a first round bye due to their impressive record in the regular season. Mansfield in their second playoff game of the year after defeating North Quincy in order to get here. That's a personal foul called against Brockton. That goes against number four, Giannisha Silva Moore. Three team fouls against Brockton here in the opening quarter. None for Mansfield. 3.20 left to go here in the first. Mansfield doing a good job getting offensive rebounds thus far. Look at that, look at this time it's Brockton who comes down with the basketball. That's number 14 with the ball for Brockton and Nadia Montero. Giannisha Silvermore for three again. No good this time rebounded by Mansfield. I would say Mansfield out rebounding Brockton to this point. So far, yes they are. Uzziah, you are a student here at Brockton High School. What was the vibe around school all day knowing that the Brockton Lady Boxers were in a big playoff game tonight here on their home court, no less? From all my observations, everyone has been excited to um, come watch this game because sadly to say our boys didn't make it. So this is the heart and soul of the team so far of this year. And we're just excited to watch them play. Well, we have a technical foul going against Brockton as number 14 for the Brockton Lady Boxers, Nadia Montero, was not listed in the official scores book. That would be a coaching error. And as a result of that, it is going to be some free opportunities to shoot for the Mansfield Hornets. And taking those shots will be number 25, Hannah McKillop. Hits her first free throw at the charity stripe, tying the game at seven, and her second will give the Hornets the one point lead, eight to seven, with two minutes and 34 seconds left to go in the first. So a unique reason for Mansfield to be heading to the free throw line. Inside the paint, Mansfield extending upon their lead. 10 to seven is the score. Two minutes and 10 seconds left to go in the opening quarter. Brockton looking for a three to tie it. No good, Brockton with the rebound off the glass and in boxes within one, 10 to nine. You mentioned the vibe around school all day, Uzziah. Seems that there is a bit more people than normal for a girls basketball game here at Staff Gymnasium considering the caliber of this game. Actually, yeah, there is, I know that. People have been put all over social media that they were coming to the game, and as you see to our right, there's a student section there, very excited for this game, and they're going to keep the vibe of this game very high, and so I expect the game to be very loud from this moment. Caroline Marr from Mansfield from the outside for three. Jackson inside the paint, no good, rebounded by Brockton. We talked about the vibe inside school. You mentioned the vibe on social media. Describe the vibe on social media. What are the kids writing on Facebook and Twitter and things of that nature about this game? What are the student body of Brock and High writing on Facebook and Twitter about this game? They have been writing that um, there's gonna be a student section that are going to join together and cheer on our Lady Boxers. 
They're going to keep the game level high. They're going to cheer on the team as loud as they can. This resembles the crowd that resembles right now, the way they've been cheering resembles a football game. Any official hashtags? Actually, I actually haven't checked Twitter, but I know that there is a hashtag going on, and, they're called, and it's, um, I believe, student section, I believe. All right, and it does seem to be a substantial member of the student body here at Staff Gymnasium. 13-9 is your score, and it is. The Mansfield Hornets on top of the Brock and Lady Boxes with a minute 11 left to go in the opening quarter. Mansfield inbounding the basketball. Spread, spread, spread. And down low off the basket and in is number 35 for the Hornets. And Mansfield has a 15 to nine lead with less than a minute to go in the first quarter. And with that, April Dingwell, head coach of the Brock and Lady Boxers, calls a timeout as the Lady Boxers find themselves in an unusual predicament here late in the first quarter as they trail the opposition by six. Mansfield leads 15 to nine with 59.5 seconds left to go. Once again, you're watching VCA Sports. Peter Zimbo and Uzziah Hilliard here at Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brock and High in the City of Champions. MIAA South Sectional quarter final action. Do or die, winner of this game moves forward in the MIAA playoffs. Losing team will have to wait until next year. Travel rightfully called against Tony Fairhurst for Brockton. <laughs> Traveling now goes against Mansfield as number four. Janet Marr takes an extra step. Diaz tries to lay it in four seconds to go in the quarter. Mansfield's just going to launch it and not going to get a shot off. 15 to 9 is your score at the tail end of the first quarter as the Brock and Lady Boxers trail the Mansfield Hornets by a score of 15 to 9. You're watching BCA Sports MIAA playoff action. Peter Zimbor and Uzziah Hilliard. And Mansfield has come out ready to play, Uzziah, as the Brock and Lady Boxers have trailed most of this game. They've only held the lead once by my estimation. Yeah, actually this is the worst I've seen them play so far during the season. And I don't know if it's that Brockton's playing poorly. I think that Mansfield is just playing quite well right now, but three quarters of basketball left to be played. Plenty of time.
Jump ball is going to be called inside the paint as Giannisha Silva Moore got tied up with some Mansfield players for the ball. 7.52 left to go in the first half. 15-9 is your score. Mansfield Hornets on top. Called against Mansfield, turns the ball over to Brockton. Tatiana Diaz makes the five-point game at the line. First bucket of the second quarter for either team. Backcourt violation goes against Mansfield, Brockton hey, ball. Silva Moore inside the paint. Two point game of a son. Brockton on a bit of a run here in the second quarter. They trail by 215 to 13. Mansfield on top. 543 left to go in the half. From the outside for Mansfield, number 24. Jacqueline Carcitti, 18-13, five-point game again. Jelani Jones takes it to, Jelani Jackson rather, takes it to the hole for Brockton. She's gonna draw a foul. She'll go to the line to shoot two. 18-13, your score. Mansfield on top, 521 left to go in the first half. Brockton was finding themselves on a bit of a roll to begin the second quarter until that three-pointer connected. Maybe they'll be back on a bit of a roll now that Jackson hits her first of two at the free throw line with one more, Uriah. Actually, yes. Three point game as Jackson gets the job done at the free throw line. Five fifteen left to go in the half. Giannisha Silvermore nearly pickpockets the ball carrier for Mansfield and we have a timeout called by the Mansfield head coach. Head coach for the Mansfield the Hornets is Mike Redding. His assistant is Heather McPherson. Head coach of the Brockton Lady Boxers, as mentioned earlier, is April Dingwell. And her assistant coaches are David Rea and 
Stephanie Savas. Earlier tonight, prior to this MIAA playoff game, there was a tribute held to former Brockton Lady Boxers head coach Patrick Brennan, who passed away last week suddenly. Of course, well wishes and condolences to the friends and family of Patrick Brennan. As I said in the last Lady Boxers broadcast I did, I've probably called more Brockton Lady Boxers basketball games with him at the helm as head coach than any other. And it was certainly saddening to hear of his sudden passing, but a tribute to him earlier tonight in the Brockton Lady Boxers sporting warm-up shirts with the name Brennan across the back in his honor. Five minutes and 11 seconds left to go in the half. 18 to 15, you score Mansfield on top, and it's the Hornets who will inbound right, from right. the sideline. Hold it. Play it. Let it go. We just watched four holding the shirt. Sideline. Good screen, Jess. Good screen. Right hip. From inside the perimeter, that is Mansfield making the five point game again, 20 to 15, 447 left to go. Foul goes against Brockton. That goes against Aliyah Brito. This sends Jennifer Kemp to the free throw line for Mansfield. No relation to Sean Kemp, former Seattle Supersonic. At least to my knowledge. Six point game now, 21-15, 4-18 left to go in the half. Brockton takes it to the hole, no good. Rebounded by the Boxers, puts it up, no good, but the Lady Boxers are fouled to the head of the free throw line. This goes against number 55 for the Mansfield Hornets, Sarah Malahi, and it will be number 11 for Brockton, shooting to the sophomore, Tony Fairhurst.
Jelani Jackson for three, making the two-point game 21-19. Through and through, this one has been competitive. More often than not, Mansfield has held the lead, but Brockton playing very well. Genesia Silva Moore with the steal. Tries to bring it in, and clean block by the Mansfield Hornets. No foul called. You know, there are just as many Mansfield Hornet fans in attendance for this game, I think, Josiah, as there is Brockton High fans, judging by the reaction from the crowd from that block. Yes, actually, yeah, there is. I know that to my left-hand side, there's their football team that actually just won a state championship. Traveling called against Brockton, turns the ball over to the Mansfield Hornets. So Mansfield, with a reputable athletic program, even off the basketball court in recent years. Well, actually, the football team last year actually made it to the Super Bowl. And a couple years before that, our basketball teams are marvelous. And I know our soccer teams are good too, as well. Nice block by Brockton. Good defense being played in this game on both sides of the floor. This time, foul goes against Brockton. This is going to send at number 55 for Mansfield, Sarah Mulhahey to the free throw line. That foul goes against number 24 for Brockton at Catherine Lewis. Nice block by Brockton's Tony Fairhurst. A clean block at that as well. Traveling called against Mansfield. Turns the ball over to Brockton. From the outside for three, tying the game for the Lady Boxers, Jelani Jackson. 22-22 is a score, a buck 13 left to go in the first half. From the outside for Brockton for three, no good. Jelani Jackson with the rebound, out to Tatiana Diaz. She thought about the three, takes it inside, puts it off the glass, no good. Rebounded 
attempt to be rebounded by Brock, and it goes off of Brock and out of bounds. 51.3 seconds to go in the first half. 23-22, Mansfield's on top. Five twenty-two, just like that from Mansfield. 33 seconds left to go in the half. Tatiana Diaz with the ball for Brockton and tries to launch that one off the legs of Mansfield and out of bounds, unable to. And it turns out it'll be Hornets ball. 27 seconds flat left in the first half. The first half concludes in Brockton trailing Mansfield by three. 25 to 22 is your score. Exciting, competitive. More often than not, Mansfield's been on top, though. This one seems like it's going to go down to the final minutes of this ballgame. Yeah, I believe so, too. Peter Zimbor and Uzziah Hilliard, courtside calling the action. Your score at halftime, Mansfield 25, Brockton 22. We'll step aside for a quick breather. When we return to second half action, stick with us. you've had way too many but what if you've had just one too many buzz driving is drunk driving <coughs> and we return for second half action here at staff gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High Brockton with the ball they trail Mansfield 25 to 22 with seven minutes and 50 seconds remaining here in the third quarter as we begin the second half of play. Whistle blown inside the paint. Looks like that call is going to go against Mansfield and it's going to allow Brockton's number 11, Tony Fairhurst, to head to the free throw line. That foul called against number four, Janet Marr, for the Mansfield Hornets of Brockton looking to cut the deficit to two and the first of two free throw shots for yes. Fairhurst connects. Peter Zimbor and Uzziah Hilliard courtside calling the action here at Staff Gymnasium. No lack of emotion and energy in this gymnasium tonight, Uzziah. No way. One point game, 25-24. Mansfield on top as Fairhurst gets the job done at the free throw line. 7.45 left to go in the third quarter. The Mansfield Hornets bring the ball down the floor. That is dribbled off the leg of a Mansfield player and out of bounds, Brockton ball. Brockton now with an opportunity to take the lead for the first time here in the second half. Diaz to Jelani Jackson, over to Aliyah Brito, and down low looking for a teammate, and it trickles out of bounds. They're gonna say it went off of Mansfield, Brockton ball from down underneath. Down the lane, coming, coming. Plus left, squeeze, double. Good, here we go. Good job, good job. Special East, Special East. Janet ready to help. Either side. Down low for Mansfield. And I think they're going to call a charge against Mansfield, so don't count that basket. And that is the case. A charging call goes against number 24, Jacqueline Carcitti, so don't count the layup. Head coach Mike Rudding for Mansfield not too pleased with that call. Tatiana Diaz with the ball for Brockton. Brockton down by one, 25-24. Gets it over to Jelani Jackson. Jackson to Gianasia Silvermore. Inside the paint to Fairhurst. Back outside to Silvermore for three. No good. And that one goes out of bounds off of Mansfield. Brockton ball. Silvermore will inbound. Let's 
Alyssa, don't go to they go. Deny Alyssa, stay. Up, Caroline, up, up. Force left. Jackie, not too wide. Three pointer by Jelani Jackson, and like that, Brockton has the lead 27 25. That'll get the crowd excited. It sure will. 6.40 left to go in the third quarter. Fairhurst with the block. They're going to say contact was made, so a personal foul will go against Brockton's Tony Fairhurst, and this allows number 24, Jacqueline Carcitti, to head to the free throw line for Mansfield. Silvermore for three. Where is Alyssa going? Where is Alyssa going? Now Diaz with the ball nearly loses it, and we're going to have a jump ball called as she gets tied up with the Mansfield player for the ball. Alyssa, you've got to stay weak side. Hey, Virginia Tech from the sideline, elbows. Alyssa, take it out. Just clear this here. Scramble for the loose ball. Mansfield comes up with it. Squeeze it. Three pointer by Tatiana Diaz. Blocked it up by one. 30 to 29. 530 left to go in the third quarter. Nice block by Tony Fairhurst. Clean block that time as well. Tony Fairhurst having a good game defensively. Yes, she really is. Believe it or not, she's only a sophomore. Two more years of Tony Fairhurst. What grade are you in, Uzziah? You're a student here at Brock Knight? You're a junior. You're a junior. So we got one more year of you, two more years of Tony Fairhurst. Yes, sir. What building are you in here at Brock Knight? I'm in the Red Building. Red Building. What? Which of these Lady Boxer players do you have any classes with? What can you tell us about them from a personal standpoint? We might not know from watching have, them. I actually don't have any classes with either of anyone on the team, but I'm close to a good amount of them. Tell us something about someone on the team who you know that we would not know from watching them. Um, believe it or not, um, Catherine Moose, who's not on the court right now, is, believe it or not, my cousin. and we have I don't believe that. No, I do. <laughs> And then I have about three cousins on this team. So and outside of Catherine Lewis, who else is cousins of yours on this team? Your whole family plays with Lady Bacchus, same year. Um, Aaliyah Brito is my cousin. And Jasmine Hillwood is my cousin. And me and Tatiana Diaz grew up together. We have been close-knit for about seven years. 32-29, Brockton on top. 4.43 left to go in the third. Timeout called with 4.20 left in the third quarter. Brockton leads 32-29 over the Mansfield Hornets. It is the bench of the Mansfield Hornets who calls that timeout. You're watching BCA Sports. Peter Zimbor and Uzziah Hilliard 
courtside calling the action here at Staff Gymnasium. A loud and raucous crowd consisting of Brock and Lady Boxers fans and Mansfield Hornets fans as it seems like plenty of folks from Mansfield made the trip slightly north to Brockton for tonight's MIAA Division I South Sectional quarterfinal matchup. You know, it's interesting. There is a sign when you enter the gymnasium that points Mansfield fans to the bleachers behind us and Brockton fans to the bleachers in front of us. I would say the Mansfield fans completely ignored that sign and are immersed with the Brockton fans. There's plenty of green Mansfield paraphernalia on the opposite side of the floor and they are making noise every time Mansfield does something positive. Believe it or not, it is a shocker. And usually the fans of the opposing team are on our, our stands, but I guess they want to be with us to compete with us in a way. It is a better view over there as well. It is. So they probably said, you know what, we're going to go where the best seats are. Stop the inbound. Stop the inbound. It's Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech. Let it go. Hey, special east. Special east. Sarah, seat up. Ready to break. Seat up. And extending upon their lead, 34-29, 3.40 to go in the third. Brockton having themselves a good second half thus far. Tatiana Diaz scrambles for the ball, comes up with it, gets it over to Giannisha Silvermore. Over to Jelani Jackson. Jackson for three, no good. Rebounded by Tatiana Diaz. Over to Jackson. Jackson to Silvermore. She'll shoot from three-point land. Sinks it. 37-29. Eight-point edge for Brockton. The largest lead they've had in this game with 3.09 left to go in the third quarter. And head coach Mike Redding punches his clipboard as he makes his way over to the bench to passionately talk to his teammates and players. Let's go. 
so special. Janisha Silva Moore. Excuse me. Thirty-seven, thirty-two. Brockton on top. Two twenty-seven left to go in the third. Virginia Tech from the elbow. Jackie switch with Alyssa. Jackie screen and roll. Jackie screen in this way. Jen wants the roll to Jackie. Alyssa, you go back. Alyssa Kelly making a three point game for Mansfield. Brockton has the edge 37 34. 205 left to go in the third quarter. Timeout called by Brockton with a buck 55 to go in the third. Brockton with the lead 37 to 34. But well, Brockton has had the lead more often than not here in the second half to this point, which is something you can't say was the case in the first half, though this has been very close and competitive throughout, Josiah. Actually, they have been playing very hard the second half. Silver Moore for three, new good. Rebounded by Mansfield. 45, 45. Either side, 45. Bring it in. Bring it in. Defense, 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 defense. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good job. Good job. Silva Moore, three point attempt, no good. Follows her shot, gets the rebound. Now she's scrambling for it on the floor, and a jump ball will be called inside the paint. Minute 12 left to go in the third quarter, 37 34, Brockton.
Foul called against Mansfield's number 11, Jessica Stoyle. This is going to send Gianesha Silvamore to the line. Actually, that was called against Alyssa Kelly. My apologies. Gianesha Silvamore at the free throw line, shooting two for Brockton first of two swish. Tatiana Diaz to Fairhurst, tries to put off the glass and then no good, rebounded by the Lady Boxers, however, and Giannisha Silva Moore puts it up and in. 41-34, Brockton on top, less than 40 seconds to go here in the third quarter. And backcourt violation. And I guess the backcourt violation was called against Brockton. Somewhat of a perplexing call. Very much so a perplexing call. I just saw Tap in India steal it and move it past half court. Nevertheless, Mansfield with the ball. Foul called against Brockton's Tony Fairhurst. And Mansfield heading the free throw line as our officiating crew hearing it from both coaches tonight. Just 3.7 seconds left in the third quarter. One more opportunity at the free throw line for Caroline Marr. And she misses both. Third quarter comes to an end and Brockton has the lead. 41 to 34, a good third frame for the Brockton Lady Boxers who head into the fourth quarter on top 41 to 34. You're watching BCA Sports, Peter Zimbor and Yaziah Hilliard, MIAA Division I Girls South Sectional quarterfinal matchup. Brockton is the favorite. However, they've had all they can handle from Mansfield throughout the game. Nevertheless, the Lady Boxers have the lead 41 to 34 as we're about to enter the home stretch. Tony Fairhurst got her hand on that ball.
Mansfield for three, making a four point game. 41 37, Brockton on top. Diaz takes it right up the middle. April Dingwell, head coach for Brockton, looking for a foul to be called. Most of the game, these officials have let the girls play. There have been a few questionable calls here and there, however. 45! And now a foul called against Gianesha Silvermore for Brockton. And with Mansfield in the bonus. Number 14, Jennifer Peel will be shooting. She makes one, she'll get another. Fairhurst with the rebound over to Tatiana Diaz. Diaz loses the ball, Mansfield comes up with it. Launches it up for threes. The Hornets no good. They get the rebound. Another block by Tony Fairhurst. And no foul called there. I think Fairhurst got away with one. Plenty of body contact there. Giannisha Silvermore with the ball gets it to Jelani Jackson. Jelani Jackson puts it in for two, 43-37. 6.25 left to go in the game. For three, that is Mansfield's Janet Marr, and we have a three-point game, 43-40, boxes the lead. Tatiana Diaz with the ball, 6.09 left on the clock. Jackson launches that one for three, no good. Rebounded by the Mansfield Hornets. It's Peel with the rebound. And we've got a whistle inside the paint. And that goes against Mansfield. Go squeeze it. Jackie, Jackie, ready to get up. Don't chase, Jen, don't chase. Watch a flash. Nice block by Mansfield. Fairhurst with the rebound. Foul is going to go against Mansfield. They slap the wrist of Tony Fairhurst. She'll go to the line shooting too. How much foul are you going to get away with down here? How is that not a foul down here? I know we're letting it play, but that's too much body contact on the ground. Can't score if you're gonna let him play like that. Too much, too much content. Yeah, I, I made it. Head coach Mike Redding for Mansfield still happy with that non-call on Tony Fairhurst down low. Brockton leads by 4, 44 to 40. Catherine Lewis with the ball for Brockton, 450 to go in the game. Tries to get over to Giannisha Silva. Moore ultimately gets in the hands of Fairhurst, puts it up and in. Brockton leads by 6, 46, 40. Three 
three-pointer by Jelani Jackson, blocked it up by 9, 49-40, and Staff Gymnasium's Brockton fans erupt. Short jumper by Mansfield, 49-42, seven-point lead for Brockton, 4.09 left to go in the game. And at the line, Jelani Jackson having an excellent night shooting the ball, Jelani Jackson. Beautiful. Fairhurst makes it a nine point lead for Brockton, 51 42, 317 left in the game. Double digit lead for Lady Boxers, 52 42, 316 left to go. I think we have a travel called against Mansfield. Mansfield fans are looking for a foul against Tatiana Diaz. Diaz over to Giannisha Silva Moore. 
to Jelani Jackson for three, nails it. 13 point lead blocked in 55-42, 2.55 in the game. Tatiana Diaz for three, no good. Foul called against Mansfield inside the paint. Brockton heading to the free throw line. And this foul goes against number one, Alyssa Kelly. Aliyah Brito heads to the free throw line for the Lady Boxers. Point lead for Brockton, 55-44. A buck 45 left to go in the game. Tatiana Diaz with the ball for Brockton. Over to Jelani Jackson. Both teams in the bonus. And a foul is going to be called against Mansfield. This will send Brockton to the free throw line. Ups the lead 57 44. Go to the rim, Jim. Nice defensive play by Tatiana Diaz. I think the ball hit her in the eye partially as she squinted. Mansfield scores. 57 46. Brockton on top. 105 left to go in the game. Giannisha Silvermore with the ball for Brockton. Silva Moore dribbling through defenders. She's going to try to take it to the hole on her own. Up, no good. Fairhurst rebound. Off the glass and in. Brockton leads Fifty seconds to go in the game. Brockton up 59-48. And we've got a foul called against Mansfield. And with a bonus situation, Brockton heads to the free throw line. And that is number 14 committing the foul from Mansfield. And she fouls out of the game. Jennifer Peel, she will be 
replaced by Julia DeMacio in the game number 31 for Mansfield with 45.2 seconds left to go. down low, 62-49 Brockton, less than 20 seconds to go in the game. If I'm Brockton right now, I wouldn't even play defense, but Aliyah Brito says, you know what, I'm going to play defense regardless. Gets it over to Jelani Jackson. Back up, back up. 10 seconds to go, and Brockton's just going to dribble this one until time expires. The game is over. Brockton defeats Mansfield by a score of 62 to 49 and advances to the MIAA Division I South Sectional Semi-Final game. A strong second half performance by the Lady Boxers fends off a very determined Mansfield Hornets team. Yusai, your final thoughts on this game? This game was unbelievable. I honestly thought it was going to be a closer game with Brockton High pulled out. There. Brockton High Victorious 62 to 49 over Mansfield. They move on in the MIAA playoffs. The Mansfield Hornets finish off the season with 15 wins, seven losses. For everyone here at BCA Sports, my broadcast partner Uzziah Hilliard. I'm Peter Zimbor. Your final score once again, the Brockton Lady Boxers defeat the Mansfield Hornets 62 to 49. We'll see you in the next game of the MIAA playoffs.